Hi, everybody. Before this video gets started, I just want to say one thing. This particular new technique is one of the best that I've seen come across regarding Ferro Focus scanners and scene software in a long time. I think it's something you can incorporate into just about every scan project that you do. It's going to make a huge difference when you're trying to measure something that might be the uh, ceiling of a building or the top of a power pole or something that's just on the edge of where you think you can get good data. Let us know what you think. Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we've got a Ferrofocus S350 and we're going to be performing a scan on this power pole. The idea of the scan is to get some of the more detailed aspects of the top of the power pole, which is going to be about 30 to 40 feet off the ground. We've got a different type of technique that we're going to show you how to use. We're leaving the scanner in the same location. We can do two separate scans, but tell the scanner to do a more uh, intricate scan of just a certain portion of the scan area. So what we're going to initially do here is we're going to start off our scan with a pretty standard outdoor setting. It'd be one quarter, four X. And then once that's finished, we're going to take a look at the scan on the screen. And we're going to do some things that will allow us to do a second scan from the same location that will center in on detail on just the top of the power pole. Now that we've finished our initial scan of the power pole, we're going to go ahead and walk through the process, centering in on the screen so that you can see what we're going to do uh, to center in on the section of the power pole we want to capture a second time. And then we'll go ahead and run that scan. Now, as you can see, this is the scan that was just performed. Now, either you can use this off of the scan that pops up immediately after you're done scanning, or you can go into the home screen, come down to the scans button, and open up the scan that you just finished. The idea here is we want to go ahead with that pre-scan image and increase the size to the area we want to get more detail on. Then we simply touch the area and it will give us a selection or a, uh, a box that we've selected and we'll hit it again and it's going to give us this option box and what we want to do is make sure that we are set on the second setting which is one half and we can adjust the size of the selection box we'll make it just a little bit bigger so we're capturing the majority of the top of the power pole once that's finished we can go ahead and press this button at the bottom here where it says add scans to group. Now, not start scan, not add cluster, but add scans to the group. We'll hit that button and the scanner will then scan this particular location at a one half four X setting. And we'll automatically add that scan into the previous scan and make it easy for the uh, scene software to go ahead and, and register those two locations together that will immediately go together and you will have much more detail on that particular area. Now we've gone ahead and popped an extra scan from another angle on that pole and we're finished and brought that in and just went ahead put it into scene software, did a quick registration. And so let's take a look at what we've got. Now, where exactly did that hyperscan land when it is in our tree on, uh, on the left side over here? You can see where there's been a cluster automatically created. We did not do this. This is automatically created by scene with the hyperscan. So inside of that cluster is the initial full scan that we did, which again, one quarter, four X. So it's about 10 minutes and it's about 44 million points. And then you've got the second scan, uh, which is the hyper scan of just the area that we had pointed out on the scanner while we were in the field. 
let's take a quick look, just see what this looks like. Um, we'll first of all look at what, what a, the normal scan looks like uh, that you would normally see when you're when you're doing this kind of work. All right, normal data. We'll climb up here towards the top. Look at what our coverage is. Again, the power pole itself, the height, we're all familiar with. This is data that you would normally see and it may be detailed enough for you to pull some measurements. You might not be comfortable with some of the measurements that you're getting off of it. Now, let's go ahead and open up the Hyperscan and see how that looks. Immediately, you can see the coverage is just tremendous, so much better than what the original scan was. There is a million points laid right into just this top portion of the pole from the Hyperscan. I think we'd all agree that if you're going to start pulling measurements off of something that's that far away, uh, this is just a, a much better visual. There's much more coverage and you you just have a better idea of what that measurement is really going to be so uh, lastly we went ahead and created a project point cloud and we can go ahead and take a quick look at what that looks like we created a clip box and in case you are say scanning a large building you're looking at some data on the top you know, you're going to obviously create a clip box. You're still, I think, going to be very, very happy with the change in the way that this data is coming across. Uh, much more comfortable in where you're going to be grabbing measurements and just the, the saturation of that particular location. You can do this on multiple different uh, locations from uh, the scan project. Uh, we could do this on the other side of uh, the power pole uh, just numerous times and really, really paint a lot of uh, laser points onto the top of this power pole. I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions on something like this or something that you would like to see us look into, please let us know. You can email us at info at AtlanticLaserScanning.com or give us a call at 800-955-3960 and let us know. If you need any equipment, if yours is going down, going in for calibration, or you want to just get started with laser scanning, we do rent the units and uh, we've got scene software available as well. Thanks and good luck.